Americans just can't get enough trucks. They are huge sellers and major cash cows for automakers, especially the Detroit 3, since apparently they've forgotten how to make cars. But which pickups are the best? Well, don't worry. We will answer that question next. Versatile and rugged, trucks can help you work harder and have more fun. They're perfect for weekend trips to a membership warehouse, hauling your daughter's junk to an out-of-state college, and even towing a jet ski twice per year. It's obvious why these things are so popular and have supplanted mid-sized sedans as the vehicle of choice in subdivisions and cul-de-sacs across the country. Now, here are a few of the Roadshow crew's favorite pickups. Now, keep in mind, this is not a ranked list. They're not in any special order. Of all the so-called half-ton trucks out there, the best one you can buy right now is probably the Ram 1500. It's got the nicest lineup of interiors, the biggest available infotainment screen clocking in at a whopping 12 inches, and it offers a range of capable engines, including a mild hybrid bolstered Hemi V8 and even an Eco Diesel V6 with 480 pound-feet of torque. Not only that, this rig looks great, drives well, and is available with a four-corner air suspension system that makes it ride, well, more like a luxury car than anything that can haul a load of gravel. No matter the model, it's hard to go wrong with the Ram 1500, though the Rebel model could be our pick of the litter. Not only does it look great, but it comes with a heaping helping of off-road hardware, from all-terrain tires to a locking rear axle. Now, if you like the half-ton form factor but want even more capability, consider one of these. It should be obvious why we love the Ford F-150 Raptor. I mean, no other pickup can bomb through the desert quite like this one can. I mean, I have personally done about 75 miles an hour on sand before, and it was friggin' amazing, let me tell you. With nearly 14 inches of suspension travel and 13 up front, the truck just eats it up. In addition to high-speed off-road capability and aggressive design, the Raptor has plenty of performance. Yes, we all miss the previous generation's rumbling 6.2-liter V8, but this rig's EcoBoost six-shooter ain't too shabby, delivering 450 horsepower and 510 pounds of torque. Giving you a little choice, it's available with either a Super Cab or Super Crew body, so there's room for the whole family, maybe even the dog. But no matter which one you get, that Ford's kinda big. It's a, what, a heckin' chonker, as the kids are saying these days? If you want an off-road ready pickup that's a little bit more manageable, the Roadshow crew heartily endorses Jeep's Gladiator. This truck may look like little more than a Wrangler Unlimited with a five-foot-long steel box tack-welded onto the back, but tons of engineering changes were made. For instance, the frame is 31 inches longer and the wheelbase has been stretched by more than 19 inches. There's also a new five-link suspension system hanging out at the rear, and all this work results in an incredibly capable rock-crawling mid-size pickup that can take you and some friends deep into the wilderness along with a giant load of camping gear, if that's what you're into, of course. On road, this thing is even more refined than the Wrangler Unlimited it's based on, riding better thanks to that longer wheelbase. Now, I hate to interrupt the flow of things, but that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I gotta ask you, please subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you the latest news, vehicle reviews, and much more. Thank you very much. Next up, an excellent all-around option, but one that I just know is going to cause controversy. Of course, I'm talking about the Honda Ridgeline. To me and most sensible people, this is a pickup truck. I mean, it has an open bed at the back. It also happens to have minivan bones, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It drives like an elevated Accord sedan, has a spacious, comfortable interior, and comes chock-a-block with clever features like an ingenious double-hinged tailgate and a hidden trunk. Not only that, the Ridgeline offers all-wheel drive, and it can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Imagine one pound, but 5,000 times. No, it's not as tough as a Silverado 3500 HD, but it's all that probably 75% of truck buyers really need. Unfortunately, Emmy Hall, our resident off-road expert and all-around cool lady, wasn't buying any of this. Nope. 
When the Honda Ridgeline first came into the roadshow stable as a long-term tester last year, I was the first one to scoff. That is not a truck, that is a pilot with a bed. She was adamant in our feature story Slack channel that the Ridgeline is not a pickup truck because it doesn't have body on frame construction and a separate bed. Now, I can see her point, though I don't agree, but do you? Well, let us know by voting in the poll by clicking roundabout over here somewhere. Is the Ridgeline a truck? I think you already know the answer. I'm right. It's me. As I mentioned, that Honda will probably do what the vast majority of truck owners need, but not all. Some folks tow horse trailers or haul bricks of depleted uranium for a living. These are the people that need a far more capable piece of hardware, like the Ford Super Duty. This family of hard-working pickups has been thoughtfully upgraded for 2020. New technology is offered, plus their styling has been tweaked and interiors refreshed, and not just like microwaving a leftover chimichanga for lunch, no, new colors, trims, and high-end materials are offered. But the most substantive changes have been made under the hood. You see, a brand new 7.3 liter gasoline V8 joins the range, serving as a mid-level offering, putting out 430 horsepower. Ford's familiar 6.7 liter power stroke diesel has been enhanced as well. It now delivers 475 ponies and a whopping 1,050 pound feet of torque. And with that much twist, it's easy to see why everybody loves trucks. Everybody does. I just said everybody loves trucks. That's enough out of you, Dale. Not sure who Dale is, but he's over there. Finally, there's one more pickup to talk about before wrapping things up here. The Chevrolet Colorado is getting a bit old at this point, but it's still a solid all-around mid-sized truck. Now, taking things to a whole new level, the ZR2 Bison model is an off-road beast and an easy recommendation. Like the Jeep Gladiator, it's perfectly at home climbing over rocks and splashing through mud. Giving this rig serious capability is a lifted and strengthened suspension, locking differentials front and rear, a track that's been widened by three and a half inches, rock rails, and even fancy Multimatic dampers. Of course, this truck looks more aggressive than your run-of-the-mill Colorado, with unique bumpers, skid plates, and more. An off-road intake snorkel is also available, as are two different engines. You can get a 3.6 liter V6 and a torque-rich 2.8 liter turbo diesel, and I love me some torque, and I love trucks. And that's the exciting conclusion of this pickup truck roundup. Thank you for making it to the very end of this video. I hope you enjoyed our vehicle selections, though I'm sure if you didn't, y'all will let us know. Anyway, stay safe out there. You take care, you hear me? You take care now!